What else would you ask thereafter? Speaker, you are paraphrasing, and um, you are paraphrasing my question. I yes. asked him to explain to me is he motivated sufficiently to take over the ministry of sports. I didn't ask him sports. I didn't ask him for the first speaker. Yes, you are boxing me towards a corner <laughs> that Kenyans will look at me as yes. if I'm, I'm not asking uh, relevant questions. I'm asking very relevant questions. Very speaker. good. Yeah, and your if, question was very relevant. Very relevant. Yeah, is so he me. sufficiently motivated? Correct. To be in this ministry. Yes. Yes. Vis -a -vis that what, he did what he very well doing. elsewhere is neither here nor there. Yeah. So exactly. So is he motivated? He explained to Morugara. me. Morugara. Thank you, sir. thank you, chair. <laughs> <laughs> don't help him too much. <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, chairman. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Nominee. Why am I doing box? Um, the youth of Kenya is actually watching you today. And possibly they got very high hopes in you when you take over this ministry once, if you are confirmed. Their question is millions of them, especially summer graduates, are out there unemployed. The government is supposed to first and foremost take them as interns. And after that, the government is also supposed to work extremely hard to see to it that they are absorbed and not downloaded out there. You take them as interns for one, two years, then you just let them go and they are back to the streets unemployed. As the minister in charge of youth affairs, do you propose to work with the government to ensure that the numbers in the government, the parastatos and all other agencies are increased in terms of interns and also to ensure that majority of them are retained in the government service in line with the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto of ensuring that almost every youth is employed. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Rahab. Uh, thank you, Cher. I just wanted to ask uh, almost a similar question. How will you en ensure that the youth are empowered to pursue sports, not only as a hobby, but also an economic activity that will offer job opportunities to them. Thank you. Chair. Yes. Chair. Just Naisula, you had your bite already. I have, I have never asked for another opportunity, kindly. <laughs> Uh, CS, and this is important. CS nominee, there are many studies that have been started, and they, and you know they they are now incomplete and uh, stalled. We have Kipkeno Stadium in Wasingishu, we have Kamarin Stadium in Elgeyo Marakwet, we have Mombasa Municipality Stadiums, and having in mind that we we'll capsabet and you know we lost the bid to host the 2025 World Athletics Championships because of uh, lack of infrastructure. How can we be the best in the region, in the world, and we are not able to complete? And just so that you answer that question, having in mind that I have a great feeling that we don't get value for money in the projects where we put money and we don't complete them. I would like to get your thoughts about it. 